Celebrating God's Grace, a Women World Leaders podcast. I am your host, Lauren Dean. Thank you so much for joining us today as we celebrate God's grace in our lives, in this ministry, and the world. Summer is typically wedding season here in the United States, so maybe you've attended a wedding recently. A few weeks ago, my family hosted a wedding dinner to celebrate my sister and her husband. And in the United States, we typically limit the number of guests invited to a wedding and send out invitations only to specific people. When I was living in Kenya, I attended several weddings and I loved it because there were no invitations or limited number of guests or RSVPs. Everyone was welcome to come. Anyone could show up that day, expectedly or unexpectedly. In Matthew chapter 22, verse 1 through 3, Jesus shares the parable of the wedding banquet. Jesus spoke to them again in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a king who prepared a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his servants to those who had been invited to the banquet to tell them to come, but they refused to come. And then verses 8 through 10. Then he said to his servants, The wedding banquet is ready, but those I invited did not deserve to come. So go up to the street corners and invite to the banquet anyone you find. So the servants went out into the streets and gathered all the people they could find, the bad as well as the good, and the wedding hall was filled with guests. Everyone is invited to the kingdom of heaven. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Sin destroyed our relationship with God, but the good news is that God had a plan for redemption. We cannot save ourselves. But Jesus lived the perfect life with no sin that we could never live, and he took on the penalty and wrath that we deserved. Through the gospel, Jesus Christ's life, death on the cross, and resurrection, our broken relationship with God can be restored and our sins forgiven. If we return to God by repenting of our sins and believing in Jesus as our Savior, we are forgiven and reunited in relationship with God and granted the gift of eternal life in heaven with him. Have you made the decision to come to the wedding banquet? In Luke chapter 14, verses 15 through 23, Jesus tells a similar parable of the great banquet. When one of those at the table with him heard this, he said to Jesus, Blessed is the one who will eat at the feast in the kingdom of God. Jesus replied, A certain man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests. At the time of the banquet, he sent his servant to tell those who had been invited, Come, for everything is now ready. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said, I have just bought a field and I must go and see it. Please excuse me. Another said, I have just bought five yoke of oxen and I'm on the way to try them out. Please excuse me. Still another said, I just got married, so I can't come. The servant came back and reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and ordered his servant, go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. Sir, the servant said, what you ordered has been done, but there is still room. Then the master told his servant, Go out to the roads and country lanes and compel them to come in so that my house will be full. Once you've made the decision to attend the banquet, God calls you to go out and invite others. And at Women World Leaders, we want to invite you and encourage you to do the same for others. Let's close our time together as I read Psalm 
107 verses 1 through 32, as we celebrate the invitation that God offers to all people to come live with him forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord tell their story. Those he redeemed from the hand of the foe. Those he gathered from the lands, from east and west, from north and south. Some wandered in desert wastelands, finding no way to a city where they could settle. They were hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed away. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way to a city where they could settle. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. For he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Some sat in darkness, in utter darkness, prisoners suffering in iron chains because they rebelled against God's commands and despised the plans of the Most High. So he subjected them to bitter labor. They stumbled and there was no one to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness, the utter darkness, and broke away their chains. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. For he breaks down gates of bronze and cuts through bars of iron. Some became fools through their rebellious ways and suffered affliction because of their iniquities. They loathed all food and drew near the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Let them sacrifice thank offerings and tell of his works with songs of joy. Some went out on the sea in ships. They were merchants on the mighty waters. They saw the works of the Lord, his wonderful deeds in the deep. For he spoke and stirred up a tempest that lifted high the waves. They mounted up to the heavens and went down to the depths. In their peril, their courage melted away. They reeled and staggered like drunkards, and they were at their wit's end. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out of their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. They were glad when it grew calm, and he guided them to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Let them exalt him in the assembly of the people and praise him. For listening to Women World Leaders podcast. Join us each Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as we explore together God's extravagant love and your courageous purpose. Visit our website at www.womenworldleaders.com to submit a prayer request, register for an upcoming event, and support the ministry. From his heart to yours, we are Women World Leaders. All content is copyrighted by Women World Leaders and cannot be used.